Hi, I'm Tim. And today on the Cheap 3D Printer, we're going to look at this. Is this the best 3D printer? Let's get started. All right, so what we have with us today is uh, the Monoprice uh, i3 Mini. It is a uh, eBay exclusive. You can only buy this particular printer on eBay. However, um, if you're overseas, I think Australia, that area, it is also known as the Wan Hao uh, i3. Um, it is Monoprice has rebranded a, uh, a Chinese printer that they rebranded to their own. And so that's what we have today. So is this the best uh, 3D printer? Um, let's talk about that a little bit more. It has a 120 uh, on the X, 135 on the Y, 100 millimeters on the uh, Z. So you're not going to print something like this on this printer. You're not going to print big. You're not going to print massive. You're not going to print huge. But it will print things that, that maybe you want to print um, in, a, in a smaller size. Um, it's kind of weird in the fact that it has this great big long bed here, but it does not print to the whole bed. So it only prints to here, even though it has this, this entire bed. Maybe there's some mods you could do to open, you know, to get that to uh, print further. But as it stands, it only prints, you know, that much of the bed instead. But it's a good printer. Um, it only prints PLA. There's no heated bed. It does need a glue stick on the bed. It does look like it's a build tack type of surface. However, uh, when I tried to print on it with no glue, it really didn't stick very well. So you need to use the glue stick. I've got glue stick all on here now, and it's, it's printing very well. It has some sort of uh, what appears to be an E3D V6 style uh, hot end under here, in here. One fan, only one fan. The fan uh, has a divider. Get this put up here. Maybe you can see this a little bit better. Um, it has a divider right in here, if you can see that, that divides the air part way to blow across the the cooling fins and part of it to blow down on your part so it is on all the time you don't have a dedicated part cooling fan that you can leave off for the first layer or that you can gradually ramp up it is on all the time um, but it produces good quality prints let me go get a benchy for you okay so this is the uh, first benchy that i printed and um, you can see it's actually very good. Um, no real problems. It had a little bit of stringing issues and, and a little bit of blobbing issues in here that I fixed with retraction. And it printed as well as any other printer that I've uh, printed with when it comes to a Benchy. It did a great job. You can see the letters on the bottom printed well. You can see, maybe you can make out the 3D Benchy on the back. I'm not sure. Hard to tell in this camera anyway. But it did a good job. All the layer lines seem to be very consistent. You know, you get the little zits from the uh, layer starts and stops. Um, that's something that I can continue to try to hone in on the slicer. But it did a very good job. I was impressed because I was not thinking that with the uh, cooling fan the way this is that I would have been able to get as good of bridging um, to happen, but it really, it did a fantastic job. So I was really impressed with it. Uh, little to no ghosting that I can tell. A uh, little bit, but not a lot. You know, nothing to be too concerned about. And uh, that one turned out really well. This was the second one. I did make some adjustments, and I think I may have went a little too far. I did end up with uh, some extrusion problems on a couple lines there, but nothing to be too concerned about. Um, this one turned out well also. Then I printed for my daughter. I printed for my daughter this uh, uh, intersecting cat. This is a two... It's not truly a two color print. You print the white part and then you print the black part and then you slide these two together. 
but it did a good job. Um, I don't have any complaints except for the tolerances on this particular model. This I did with the bigger tolerances, and I still had a little bit of trouble getting them to slide together. So the, uh, the tolerances are just off a little bit, but it did a good job. It's a nice little cat. My daughter loves it. She wants to have a cat, but I'm allergic to cats, so this is the best cat she's going to get. And it turned out well. So, why do I think this could possibly be the best 3D printer? Well, I don't think it's the best overall 3D printer, and, and frankly, I haven't tested enough 3D printers to tell you what is the absolute best and what is the absolute worst. And in most cases, it's a uh, it's a case by case basis. What is best for you may not be best for someone else. But if you are a beginner, if you are just getting into 3D printing, if you think PLA is going to be the only thing you're going to print, if you don't need to print something large, this is a great printer, especially for the price. If you watch eBay, and especially coming up, uh, you know, Black Friday is coming up really soon. This will probably go on sale then. If you watch eBay, this printer can be picked up for $99. $99. That's, that's pretty cheap. That's cheaper than an ANET A8. That's cheaper than an Ender 3. Uh, both of those have a bigger build volume, but this $99 fully assembled. And that's the other big part about it being for beginners is that it's fully assembled. You take it out of the box, you cut a couple zip ties off of it, and you and level the bed and you're ready to go. You don't have to assemble the thing. You don't have to deal with a bunch of screws and nuts and making sure this is lined up and making sure that's lined up and make, making sure this is the right measurement. Nothing. It comes fully assembled just like this right out of the box. Um, it's a great little printer. I'm excited about using it in the future. I'm excited about getting it all you know, honed in exactly the way I want it. But uh, it's a good little printer. So if you want to pick one up, go to eBay. Search for the Monoprice i3. I'll try to leave a link below to see if you can get to it. It won't be an affiliate link. It'll just be a link that you can click on and get to the Monoprice i3. Or look up the Wanhao i3. Um, and uh, you can pick up one of these. I think even Cocoon Create may even have one also, which is just a rebranded Wanhao. But it's a good little printer. Prints well. Excited about it. Um, I don't love the mini, the micro USB or mini USB or whatever this, or mini uh, SD card, but because um, I feel they're too easy to lose. But if you're just getting into 3D printing, like I said, if you're just getting into 3D printing, if PLA is the only thing you're going to print, pick up one of these for $99. They're a cheap and easy investment. If you're looking for one for a kid, Christmas is coming up real soon. If you're looking for one for your, your son or your daughter, this might be a good choice because they don't have to do any building. They don't have to make sure everything is aligned just correctly. They just pull it out of the box and start printing. That's all I got for you today. If you like what I'm doing, please subscribe below. Click the thumbs up button and uh, uh, follow me on Twitter, uh, at T.A. McCain on Twitter. I'll put a link below and uh, we'll see you next time. In the meantime, keep printing. Keep printing cheap.